Good morning, everybody. On today's episode of Pinch House Garage, we got a new chapter here. And we got a chapter here with Dominic. Uh, Dominic is a local guy here in Ramona, and I offered him pretty much the Mark IV wagon for him to keep it. Uh, so he can rebuild it, and but we're going to do it all here. Now, you're going to see this car turn from a total ish box to whatever Dominic wants to turn it into. I don't know what he's going to do with it, uh, but we're going to do it here at Pinch House Garage because this is what we do here in the community. We help each other out. We learn, and pretty much we expand our minds by learning how to fix something new and different. Uh, Dominic does have experience with cars, so it makes me a little happier. So I don't have to teach him as much, but we're going to learn about 1.8 T engines, turbos, uh, fueling, oil systems on these cars because there's a lot to learn on this. This is a 1.8 T five-speed manual wagon. You guys don't understand how uncommon these cars are. And I'm not going to say rare, uncommon, uh, but it's beat. I mean, I'm talking about beat. Uh, let's open up the door for me, Mr. Dominic. <laughs> the door's not even bolted on. Uh, crap, um, and it's dirty. So we got to bring this car back to life, and I'm gonna give Dominic the ability to do this. I'm gonna be giving him uh, a cash advance, so 1,500 bucks to get this car going uh, down the road. So we'll see how far we get until this car starts running. So, what do you think are our first steps on this car we have to do? Uh, definitely check and make sure that the motor's somewhat good. So, make sure she's in timing. <laughs> Gotta get the door back on, too. <laughs> Wherever that is. Don't break it. <laughs> it's a feature. Yep. Custom. Uh, okay, we're gonna leave that door alone yep. for now. <laughs> so, we're gonna check timing on this. See if the car is timed. Uh, the, the previous owner told me the car jump timing or something went wrong. Um, I just checked the belt. The belt looks fine. I didn't see any missing teeth. I'm wondering either the water pump seized or the um, uh, the hydraulic tensioner failed on it. So it might have loosened the timing and might have jumped a tooth or two. So we got to figure that out. Make sure the head and the, the bottom end is actually uh, timed correctly. If it's timed... We're going to slap a battery in here, get everything, put some spark plugs and coil packs, and see if we can fire it up. Um, hopefully there's some fuel in here and stuff, maybe a little bit of oil, <laughs> and then we'll go forward on that. But that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today, so let's get to work. Dominic and I set the timing on the car. We are officially timed on the cam here and on the crank. It's timed. It's nothing's wrong. Nothing's off right now. So what we're going to do right now is do two full rotations and see if the valves will hit or not. If they don't, uh, that means there's nothing wrong with the head or the crank. So I'm going to have Dominic here hold the camera while I rotate it and see what happens. So tell me when we pass the timing mark twice on the okay. second time, okay? Yep. Have we passed it yet? Nope. We are now. That's one. Okay. One more time. Coming up on two. A little bit farther and we will be timed. Yep, that's two right there. We'll have to go back a little bit. Okay, I see it now. Right there. Yep. Whew. So, we were able to rotate that engine with no issues uh, fully. So, that's a good sign that the head itself and the crank aren't hitting. <clears throat> and I'm hoping there's no bend valves. But for right now, I mean, we're looking really good. We're actually in the, pretty much in the step in the right direction. So the next step here is to get some uh, fuel, some oil, and let's see if we can crank, and the battery, and see if we can crank this sucker over and see if we can get it to start. 
Uh, we gotta double check the oil level. Let's see if there is any oil. <laughs> well, it's There's actually oil full of oil. It. It's got full of oil. So we're good with oil. Um, put a battery in it and see if how much gas there is in the tank. And if not, we'll go pick up some gas. Um, you'll see there's a lot of vacuum lines disconnected and whatnot. It should be fine. should be just enough for the car just to turn over and fire. Uh, we don't want it to run, obviously. We don't want it to, um, how can I say, um, um, run and idle. We just want to make sure we can actually fire it and see if it will actually run. So let's get to work. All right. So Dominic and I went uh, parts hunting, literally around my garage. We found a starter. We found the starter bolts. We found some ignition coils. We got a spark plug. Uh, we found an N75 and a diverter valve. So pretty much everything we need for this car to actually fire up and run. Now, something happened while Dominic was looking in the car. We found the old timing belt. And ay ay ay. It's missing teeth. A lot of them. So currently we don't know if the belt if this engine is effed to the max. We don't know yet. Um we're hoping that whoever did the timing job on this did a good job, but I'm gonna assume they didn't. I'm going to assume that this belt went bad and the valves are all bent and pretty much we're just going to find out in a little bit <laughs> if the car runs or not. Um, yeah, so we got oil. We're going to check if we have gas. Um, we got to plug in the battery. Um, Dominic's going to finish up on getting the starter done. Yep. Uh, there is two wires. You're missing a nut too there's a 13 that goes on top of this um this goes here that's the uh, alternate relay cable um this is the starter one so this goes right here right there yeah, i gotta get that top bolt tighter yeah well you'll get it right now yeah um, yeah, they pretty much we got positive and negative right there. Um, and then, yeah, everything else is pretty straightforward and see if this guy will fire up. So, um, put the battery in. We know now the electrical works on the car. I hear beeping noises in there. Go see if there's a, it might be a key in there. If it's beeping like that. Yep. There's, in. there's a key in there? Yep. Okay, hold on. There's no math. You forgot to plug in the math hole. <laughs> I know we gotta get at least everything somewhat plugged in. Somewhat. Uh, um, so let's see. This should be an arrow. So let's say it. So this is a moment of truth right here. If this thing actually runs or not. I know where. The math sensor's right oh, here. There it is. Yeah. Boom. That's that's it. This get this snug. You got yep. this snug. Okay. Uh, this one here. Just a little bit snugger. Just don't. Just when you feel it's like that's it. Don't. It'll just strip. Um, yeah. Turn the hazards off. All right. Uh, see if there's a uh, gas level. Is there any gas in this? Uh, no. It looks like it is empty. Oh, serious? No, no, oh, no. Oh, oh, full tank. What? <laughs> About. Oh, whoa! She's slowly climbing. Okay. Close to a full tank. Okay, so we have gas. Um, make sure it's out of gear. Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I there's no water. Oh, it's okay though. If there's no water. Um, uh, just as long as it's got oil. Let's oh. see if it'll fire. Right. Here you go. Ready? Go for it. Not a... Nothing. No crank. No crank. Okay, we gotta find out why. Yo, did you put the clutch in? Yep. Alright, so it's not firing, it's not cranking at all. Uh, I wonder if they disconnected something. Alright, so we figured out what was wrong and why the car didn't want to start. It was missing all the relays. So we pulled all the relays out of my VR6, put them all in. The car now fires, I mean now cranks. 
Now we gotta see if it actually will start. So go for it again. Ready? Ready. Stop, 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 stop. Whew. <laughs> it shot a, oh, there's no exhaust. <laughs> it shot a big old flame out of the exhaust. <laughs> Uh, it smells like straight fuel. Yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, it, it's it's igniting though. Yeah. So we know that there's spark and there is fuel. Um, give it another try. All right. And see if we get it to fire. Just nice and slow. Ready? Go. Stop. So it's igniting. Ooh, smells like straight freaking fuel over here. Probably smells bad too because it's bad fuel. Yeah, it's been sitting for way too long. So that might be why it's not starting. Possibly. Yeah. Um, all right, fire it and give it give it a little bit of gas as you're pumping it. All right, stop. No, it's not gonna fire. All right, so All right. Uh, we're back. We did a compression test and it's zero PSI all the way across the board. So that's telling me right now, right off the bat, that the valves are done. They're probably bent to all high hell. I'm not hearing any piston or valves clapping. So I'm wondering if um, they're bent just slightly enough that we're not getting any compression, but, um, we're not hitting the, uh, the pistons as well. So, um, it sucks, but <coughs> Dominic and I did everything we could. It's completely back together as best as possible to get it to fire and it's not firing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We got to shoot cool backfires. Um, but that's it. So, on the good news, everything works on the car. The wipers work <laughs> very well. <laughs> uh, no compression. Uh, we got fuel. We can definitely smell fuel coming out of this bad boy. Um, see what else is there. We're using my diesel battery. It works. Um, <coughs> excuse me again. Jeez. What I think I'm gonna probably do is get that uh get those wires moved over. Let's see if we can close the window. Oh, okay. At least that, you know? Yeah. Um and that's it though. So stay tuned guys for this special series with Dominic and me, Pinchal, getting this car back on the road and he wants to build some power. So we'll probably get some Pinchal's garage love and bag it or put it on coilovers, some sweet wheels. You know, do some body work and possibly get it painted. Who knows? You know, we're going to go claw leather interior, right? Yes. So we're going to do full leather interior. I mean, everything works on the car. So, I mean, for free, we can't really complain, especially it being, uh, again, an uncommon uh, wagon, which is, again, five-speed manual 1.8T, which is not very common uh, anymore. It used to be a very common car, but not anymore. Uh, so we're going to save another Mark IV, guys. That's that's the goal here. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. And <clears throat> follow the playlist because there's going to be a very specific playlist for Dominic and his Mark IV. Peace out, everybody. You guys have a wonderful day.